right, so I just can't hear. We are back to the dream machine, and we need to go to the witch's house to ask her to help us, I think. I don't know. This game's getting real weird. All right, here we are. We're gonna knock on her door, and hopefully she won't turn us away this time. Who's there? It's Neff. Stubborn, aren't we? Three seconds to get off my porch. I'm filing you into the corner of the house. Lady of the forest sent me. Oh? Why didn't you say so right away? Come in, child. Okay. Open the door. Go inside. Hello, old lady. Hello. So, you're a friend of Selma's. Excuse me if I don't get up. The organ thief paid me a visit a couple nights ago. The pain is only bearable as long as I don't move. By all means. Sorry if I was a bit intrusive earlier. It's me who should be apologizing, dear. I mistook you for one of the members of the mob. They used to send recruits my way. Sometimes I had to straighten them out. They don't anymore? No. I was their prime suspect for a while, but someone from their squad was attacked while others were spying on me. That gave me an alibi. They eased off a bit after that. Now what can I do for you, Victor? I need to traverse a rather big obstacle. How did you teleport me before? Can you teach me how to do that? I'm afraid not, dear. That sort of magic takes decades to learn. I might have a potion that could help, but I'm not allowed to hand over such magic to the uninitiated. The havoc you might cause could be catastrophic. So how do I become initiated? It's not that easy, my child. Magic is not something you can simply learn. You have to have a predisposition for it. How do I know I have it? Have you ever made strange things happen? Have you made things float on thin air or turned one object into another? No. Well, you're out of luck. I can't teach you unless you show me some magical predisposition first. Those are the rules. Okay. What can I magic? Jeez. Examine candles. These candles seem to be made of beeswax. It looks like the skull of a deformed child. The jaw is missing and the top of the head has been cracked open. Uh, candles made of beeswax. Belong to a gigantic bird once. Razor sh sharp teeth lined the beak. Uh, giant cauldron has been placed over an open flame. The cauldron only contains boiling water. Can I boil the egg? Why would I want to do that? I don't know. A gigantic cauldron. Okay. Um, because it's a cauldron of water, maybe I can boil the egg. Um, I think I found everything in the forest, so how can I show her magic? Maybe she'll talk to me more. Hello again, Victor. Are you ready to show me some magic? Not yet. What do I have to show? Something strange and wondrous. It doesn't have to be big and brazen. A small display will do just fine. All right. Was there anything else, dear? All right. Are you all right? I'm fine as long as I don't move. Otherwise, the pain is unbearable. What happened to you? The organ thief paid me a visit a couple of nights ago. I thought I would be safe here, but alas, he broke through my wards while I was sleeping. About the organ thief, what do you want to know? Who is he? There's only one possible explanation. What's that? We're dealing with a necromancer. The darkest kind of wizard there is. You think so? I know so. What other explanation could there be? He's not stealing organs because he's hungry, that's for sure. Why is he stealing the organs? He's dabbling in a profound dark form of magic, unlike anything I've ever seen before. But trust me, only a necromancer would ever be willing to taint their soul with these crimes. What sort of power is he trying to gain access to? I dare not speculate what he's trying to accomplish. What does he look like? Nobody's been able to see him. He comes in the dead of night and usually leaves before the victim realizes what's happening. I don't even know how he got past the ward on my door, but clearly his knowledge in magic is extensive. Okay, have you seen any weird tentacles? A tentacle? I can't say I have. Why are you looking for such a thing? It's a bit complicated, but it's draining energy from this place. I need to cut it off. I can't help you there, child, but something tells me this tentacle and the organ thief are related. Can you fling me across the forest again? Of course, child. Where would you like to go? Okay, um... Take me back to the beginning. Very well. Oh, so... I wouldn't mean to go here, but I do still need to do something about this girl. Hello? Hello, mister? Yeah, I've already been through this. She doesn't have anything new to tell me. I need to find a way of what to do about this girl. Can I toss the egg at her? What do you think of this egg? 
It looks very tasty, mister. Okay. You mind if I take this? Not at all. Um. Uh-oh. Hmm. Nothing happened. Should I throw this bandage over? No thanks! I'm sure Sam will be around sooner or later. She'll help me. Okay, so should I go get Selma? I don't know what to do with this crazy girl. How's he doing? He's stable, but he lost a lot of blood during the night. He'll live, but I'm glad I got here when I did. From what I hear, I've got to thank you for that. Thanks for having out of it. If you should ever come by again, you will find yourself a most welcome guest in our home. We don't have riches, but we make up for it in charm and good looks. Selma here is the jewel of the family. Between you and me, I'll have you know she's not yet spoken for. Grandpa! <laughs> you can't blame me for trying. I'm afraid I am spoken for. See what I mean, Selma? If you wait too long, the good ones get snatched. Speaking of which, I should probably get going. You do that, son. I need to talk to you, Selma. So, did you find the Wiccan? I did. She doesn't want to teach me until I show some magic disposition. Eh? You don't know magic? No. Do you? Of course. I know healing magic. Can you teach me that then? It's not how it works, I'm afraid. Magical predisposition is something you're born with. Perhaps you know magic and you're just not aware of it yet? Have you ever made strange things happen with your mind? No. Perhaps you didn't even notice. A tiny display is often the first sign. How does I does? So did you find the weekend? I did, ba beep, bop, ba doop, and she's gonna go on about magic. So how do I show her something magical? Any news? Have you found any leads? I want to report my findings. What have you found? A squirrel seems to be hiding something underground. The pixies might know who the orc is, which is not living far from here. I think the thief is hiding behind the great wall. Uh, that's a useless lead. There's no way of crossing that thing. No way. Let's just tell him everything. She's not the organ thief. We've investigated her thoroughly. She has alibis for some of the attacks. As much as I hate to admit it, it's not her. Probably good luck asking them though. Okay, squirrel. Squirrel like sounds like a pretty normal thing for a squirrel to do. Won't investigate that much. The squirrel didn't chop my arm off. That's for damn sure. Uh, okay. Stay out of trouble, son. So? Where's the cavalry? I thought you'd go get them. They said they can't leave their position. Something about following en Enoch's orders. So I'm stuck out here until the shift ends. And I barely made it through the night. You have to make it back on your own, I'm afraid. How the heck am I supposed to do that? Crawl? I'm just a messenger here. I guess I have to come up with something. You haven't seen a wheelchair or a wagon around here. Afraid not. Give me a holler if you do. I'll give you my bow if you get me out of this mess. Okay. That's right, she was gonna give me the bow. I thought she gave me the bow. Have you considered crafting some kind of cart so you can drag yourself around the ground? Frankly, yes, but I don't see any cart components lying around. Do you? What about these? That's not half bad. I could build a base out of those. If you can find four wheels, I'd be much obliged. I'll see what I can do. Wasn't the squirrel's door made out of a wheel? There's a small hole at the base of the trunk. It's covered by a small round door. I see you admiring my door. It's an old wagon wheel I reinforced. Pretty nifty, eh? A wheel, huh? That sounds useful. Can I borrow it? And leave my treasure exposed to burglars? I think not. I'll only be for a couple hours. Without a door, my treasure is defenseless. You'll be here to guard it, surely. I can't fight off those thieves in this condition. I'll need all the reinforcement I can get. What if I gave him the whistle? Hey, I trade you this warning whistle for your door. You can call the mob if someone tries to steal your treasure. It's only temporary, of course. Oh well, I guess that's a fair trade. At least my treasure won't be completely defenseless anymore. Great, here you go. Thanks. I'll just unhinge it carefully, and voila! Okay, I've got a, I've got a wheel. Where else do I get a wheel? Daha. Two perfectly round handles. Okay, might be useful. Okay. Pick 
Look up lead. Was this here before? They use this as a lid for the barrel, but it might make a decent wheel for a wagon. I hope they don't mind if I borrow it. Have you found more components for the cart? It doesn't have to be fancy or anything. Uh, yes. See you around. Okay. Give you the wheels. What about those? Those look pretty sturdy. If you could find two more wheels, I'd be much obliged. I'll see what I can do. Here's another one. What about this? That's not half bad. If you could find one more wheel, I'll be much obliged. I'll see what I can do. And this one. What about this? That looks pretty good. If I can make my cart now, finally I'll be able to get out of here. Please accept this bow as a token of my gratitude. What am I supposed to do with the bow? What am I supposed to do with this? Simple bow made out of a single piece of wood. Whoa, she's here now! Ha ha! There he is, the man of the hour. Thank you for helping our scout back to the fold. It would have been a tragedy to lose her. She is the finest eye this side of the wall. Eh, think nothing of it. Was there anything else? Nope. Uh, that's good. Stay in touch, my son. The twig seems to be stuck on the other side of the wall. I'll secure the yarn on this end. There. That should hold it, hopefully. Well, then. I haven't sat here for a minute clicking on everything and going everywhere. And it was all just where I started. I can see light coming through this linear opposing. Oh. Oh. Can I? Oh, okay. I have to go secure it. I have to go around. Ah. Aha, what's this? Examine twig. The twig I shot from Selma's dream. Okay, the twig I shot from Selma's dream. What do I do about this? Do I get. Oh, I took out the staff. Um, examine twig. The twig I shot from Selma's dream. Let's use the. Let's make the twig bigger. Wait, let's make the twig bigger. Wait. Why can't I make the twig bigger? Okay, let's go in here then. The twig seems secure to me. Wait, I'm. Crossing the void as a tiny person? I'm bringing the gun and the scepter. Several minutes later, thank fuck. Am I over here now? I am a little little baby. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't have to stand here, sit here for like 20 minutes waiting for him to crawl across. This is weird. Oh my god, I'm tiny, this is gonna take forever. Oh wait, I can make myself big now. Oh my god, I've got the gun and the staff. What am I supposed to do with the gun and the staff? In this one? Wait, can I make the wall small? Use gun with wall. Huh. Nothing happened. The gun only seems to work when I use it on myself. I can be a little person and go into the squirrel's house. I can be little and talk to the fairies. Can I be little and um, get on the lily pad? Examine hole. Okay, probably using the lily pad. Use it here. This is probably the magic that I need to show the person, the lady. This is perfect. I've got the answer to all my problems. Make me tiny. Enter hole. Make me big. All right, so you finally come for me. Ooh, sorry. You surprised to manage your way past my barricade, but in a way I'm relieved. Well, what are you waiting for? Do it. Do what? 
cut me open like all the others. That's what you came for. Then leave me alone. I intend to sleep through this era and the one after. You've got it all wrong. I'm not the organ thief. Then what are you doing here? Another gloater? Here to mock me in jest? Leave me to be molested in peace. My name is Victor. I'm not here to mock you. I've come to stop the organ thief. Oh dear. Just what the world needs. Another hero. Who are you? My name is Jerome. At least it used to be. I don't know what people call me these days. Probably something unflattering. What are you doing in here? I'm hiding here until the trouble dies down. My kind always gets persecuted when people start losing their limbs. Your kind? I'm a vampire, Victor. Don't be alarmed. I'm too weak to move during hibernation. I couldn't hurt you even if I wanted to. In fact, you're safer in here with me. Out there, either the thief will get you, or the lynch mob will. But I've erected a barricade to keep people out. You're welcome to share this hut with me. I understand if you don't want to, though. Most people consider my presence to be unsettling. What's it like being a vampire? Immortality is not what you may think. After a while, you feel as if you've seen everything before. People start merging into an indistinguishable lump of petty needs and petty problems. That sounds awful. That's why I hibernate through most of it. When will you come out of hibernation? When times are better, in a century or two. Every once in a while, an era comes along where I feel at home. A moment in time where truly new ideas are welcome. That's when I leave my hiding place and start living again. Those moments are very rare, though. What's wrong with this era? This age is for small-minded, dead-eyed thinkers. For clock watchers and bean counters. Insect minds and insect agendas. What makes you think we're safe in here? I've barricaded the entrances so no one can get in. And nobody knows I'm here, so they won't come here looking. What about me? You have an honest face, Victor. I'm sure you won't tell anyone. I managed to get through the barricade, though. You cheated. You, I saw you use some kind of magical artifact. I doubt there's many of those around. If that's what it takes to get in, I figure we're pretty safe. I noticed a weakness in your barricade. Really? There's a hole in the roof of this place. I saw that earlier, but I don't think it's big enough for a person to get through. It looked big enough to me. You're just trying to make me feel insecure. I believe I'm safe here until you prove otherwise. I'm trying to stop the organ thief. How are you going to do that? I don't know yet. If only I knew where he'd strike next. Then maybe I could ambush him or something. That sounds like a good way to get maimed. And then I need to go. Don't tell anyone I'm here. All right, examine snossages. Why is there sausages? Some moldy old sausages have been left on the floor. Okay, talk to Jerome. Uh, examine kiln. It's an old kiln. An ashen power covers the bottom. Can I has it? Okay. Down barricade, a pile of furniture makes makeshift barricade. It's a lot stronger than it looks. Can't even budge this chair. I would imagine not. The wards took me three days to create. Okay, so there is nothing in here. Can I use a scepter on, a, on anything with sausages? Don't need to poke them. Can I use the scepter on the sauce or the gun on the sausages? Hmm. Nothing happened. Okay, well, there's nothing in here. Just talking to scary guy over here. All right, let's go to the lily pads. I'm sure this will do something. It did. Now what? Can I? With myself? Can't use staff on myself. No, the gun. I don't know. I better get back to the shore first. Um, I don't know what to do. I thought this might be a good idea. Maybe use a staff. Hmm. That didn't work. But I can crawl on it, though. What do you think of the staff? That's the prettiest thing I've ever seen. What's that on the end? Some kind of shiny jewel? I really don't know. I can get on the lily pad, but I don't know what to do next. All right, well, let's go show the old lady that we have magic. We'll come back to the lily pads later. Oh no, let's, let's show the new pumpkins our, our new scepter. The king returns. What's thy bidding, your highness? Give me a situation report. The shape of the kingdom is in. 
Years of neglect has left the king in a dire state. Our enemy to the south is harassing our own border, afraid to attack an imminent sir. What do you suggest? To boil the fortification along the border. We must not, the land will be overrun. Uh, I need to focus our efforts on what yes, sir. Where, what else? The state is almost bankrupt, sire. Um, what do you think we should do? Increase taxes. Uh, cut on a session section. I don't know what's going on. Our citizens are growing uproarious. Talk of revolt is spreading fast. What do you suggest? Place soldiers on the city streets. That should quell the rebellious urge. Uh, give the citizens a loaf of bread. Well, well, sir. What else? Oh my gosh. We need allies. What do you suggest? Send envoys to our neighboring countries. Start forging alliances. Um, make us look weak and needy. I don't know. Very well. Oh, come on, can we be done? Our army is weak. Oh, gosh, come on. What do you think we should do? Reinstate the draft. Okay. Um, able-bodied over 18, I don't know, very well. That's it, my liege. There's nothing to report. Okay, I wanna, I wanna show, I wanna show them the staff. Oh, I wanna show them the staff. Cause then they think I'm super awesome. All right, I'm gonna show you some magic. Hello, Victor. Are you ready to show me some magic? Maybe. What do I have to show? Something strange, something wondrous. It hasn't been raised. Da, 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 da. All right. Is there anything else, dear? I will make myself tiny. That's it, child. Seems you know magic after all. Pretty impressive stuff, I might add. What type of ingredients did you use for that potion? Rosemary and rose petals? Stuffed animal fur? Hold on, I'll show you. I use this gun. That's unlike anything I've seen before. Pretty sweet, eh? I don't know how you got a hold of such a thing, but I suggest you be careful with it. Fear and doubt em emanates from it. So you will teach me the potion you mentioned earlier. Of course, dear. But making it will be tricky. I'm out of ingredients. Figures. All the ingredients can be found here in the forest. Here, let me give you the recipe. Okay, come back once you've found them and I'll instruct you on how to make the brew. Thanks. Okay, we need an acorn, a dove egg, I have that, burnt flintstone, a, wa a water lily, stamen, dirt from fresh grave. Okay, I know where to get that, I know where to get that, burnt stone, I don't know where to get that, an acorn is probably with the squirrel, which I was gonna see him anyway. So, not yet, fling me somewhere. Squirrel tree, very well. Try to see the witch, eh? Guess she's not in the mood for visitors. No, I asked her to fling me here. Uh-huh. All right, well, this looks like a good time to stop. We've been on here long enough. We've got the gun in this level. So the possibilities seem endless. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. Oh, wow. Ooh, bad, bad. <laughs>